The R.E. Lee building is nearly deserted. Pipes and old fixtures are all that remain in a building that used to house 55 people. Although the project has made progress since the building sale last fall, some steps remain before a massive renovation is set to take place here. Former maintenance man and aspiring artist David Compton is one of two people remaining in R.E. Lee. He is unhappy with the way many of the building's former residents have been relocated. First missteps followed by misdeeds and uh, prevarication, fabrication, you know, the whole thing. Compton plans on moving to Utah when his lease expires in May. He says he stays as a protest to the way the project has been handled. The way uh, the city and the owner handled that and uh, their behavior, um, okay. inexcusable. Councilman and owner of Washington Street Purveyors Chuck Smith defends the city's help with the relocation process. The city provided quite a bit of assistance um, as part of the entire project to, um, to help with the, the relocation of, of the folks that were living there. Councilman Smith also sees the R.E. Lee project as part of a bigger downtown revival. It generates a lot of traffic, it generates a lot of commerce, and as a result generates some, some, uh, some tax dollars for the city. Once the site plans are approved and all the R.E. Lee residents are moved out, construction can begin in a 39-room hotel. For the Rock Ridge Report, I'm Alex Maragos.